I am here at Heatseek Labs and I'm making little trilobite fossils. Um, and as I'm using the precious plastic injection mold machine, I 3D print a part, put it inside of a container, then I pour resin on top of that after layering it with the uh, mold release to create a cavity that I can inject. Then um, I take a plate Weld a one and a quarter inch dome on it, and then for my extruder, I have an inch dome. I put the two on top for the um, the uh, the plate and the dome on top of the part that I'm the the mold cavity. Place it under my extruder, and I've developed a quick release clamp. You can see it works like so. It's That's all she needs to do. I'm gonna just snap her up there. I'm just going to. Come on, baby. Lift the clamp and inject. take a look at some of the parts. Now this is obviously burnt plastic. I, I'm still kind of tuning in the, the settings for my machine. This one's a little bit better. See, definitely a lot cleaner. I'm here at Heatsink Labs and I make you little trilobite fossils. I don't know if you know what a little trilobite is, but it's... <laughs> Plastic is fun stuff, isn't it? I'm just gonna like take this, wrap it inside while my plastic is still molten. Just pretend that none of this ever happened. <laughs> 